hi you guys welcome back to my garden in today's video i'm going to be trying to get a few things done outside in the garden i am going to transplant some hydrangeas i am also going to be planting some beautiful peonies i have three peonies or peonies it just all kind of depends on where you're from if you say peonies or peonies it's kind of like tomato, tomato. It just kind of depends on where you're from and how you say it. So for me, I say peonies. And then sometimes I could be talking and I'll say peony. It just kind of depends on where you're from. So I have the most beautiful peony that I'm gonna be planting in my garden. But let me show you guys what we got and where they're gonna go in the garden. Now, I kind of went back and forth with where I'm gonna plant them at. We'll go ahead, go over to this area, and I'll show you the beautiful peonies that I have that I'm gonna be planting up. Come on, you guys, let's get started. Here's the peonies that I'm gonna be planting. I have three of this variety right here. These are Carl Rosenfields. This variety is calling for partial sun, and part of me wants to feel like that they made a mistake with the tag. I've had peonies in my garden before, and they've always needed full sun for me. I'm going to site these in this location right here in my garden, and this is the reason why. The reason why I'm gonna go ahead and site these in partial sun is because one, I have sun coming back from this direction right here, so I can actually manipulate the sunlight in this area by coming in and trimming back my tree right here. So I have a maple tree that provides some partial shade to this area. So if I notice that they're not getting as much sunlight as they need, I can come in and just kind of trim it back. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do, not gonna do necessarily a hedge, but I am gonna come in and do maybe one, maybe two, and then maybe kind of like a three type situation with this one right here. Carl Rosenfield is a red peony. Oh, let's look at the plant tag. Let me get it off real quick. Let's look at the specs. All right, so we have, let's turn this around. Carl Rosenfield peony or peony. And it is calling for, it gets four by three and it's asking for you to space about three apart. Cold hardiness, negative 30 to negative 40. None hardiness zones, one to two. Fertilization in the spring, but it does say part sun. So it's calling for part sun. So let's go ahead and get these girls planted. I think I have the peonies in the place where I'm going to be putting them at. This is where I think they'll have a nice environment. Now, a couple of things you want to remember with peonies. You want to make sure that you, the same level that the peony is in the plant can, you want to make sure you get that same level inside of the can and maybe even slightly above because you also have to account for your mulch that you put down in the area. Because here's the thing, if you have it buried too far down in the ground, you're not gonna get any blooms. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna elevate these slightly. Now, with my soil here, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add some garden gypsum. Nice, big, beautiful bag. Um, I know that Sherwood Forest in the St. Louis region, he carries big, large bags of garden gypsum. So I have this, and what this does is it loosens clay soil. I am also gonna come in and also add some nice, rich compost. Now, I am also going to start a fertilizer. Let me tell you something, when you have clay soil and you're trying to break it up, sometimes what I'll do is I'll come in if I'm planting up something, like when I mass planted my tulips, well, we already know that tulips do not like to be in moist, soggy, boggy conditions. So what I did, I removed the trench, the area where I was going to put my tulips in, and I covered them up with garden soil. It's all about what you want to sacrifice. I don't care about paying the extra expense. 
Um, it's just garden soil. And I know I'm going to come in, I'm going to add nice rich compost to my soil as well. And anywhere I dig, you guys, I have beautiful earthworms coming out. So it's letting me know that my soil is pretty good. But in some instances, in order for things to survive, peonies want to have nice draining soil and I'm going to help provide them. With the gypsum, it's not automatic and it doesn't break down. It takes some years in order for the uh, area where you're applying a few seasons for the gypsum to actually get in and start breaking stuff down. And as you come in and continue to amend your soil, you'll start to get a return of beautiful black gold. You'll be able to just drop plants in the ground and they'll do great. So start off with success from the beginning and you don't have to worry about fixing it later on because that can become costly. When I'm planting up a new plant, especially a perennial, I like to keep the plant tag. So I have this little container here and I have just various different plant tags from annuals to perennials to trees, you name it, it's been planted in my garden, it's in here. So what I like to do is make sure I keep a plant tag. Now I planted three, it's not necessary for me to keep all three. I take that one, I put it in my system, I put it away and so that way come next spring, I'll know details about when to fertilize, uh, if I need to deadhead prune, when do you cut back. A lot of that information is on the back of the plant tag. And as far as um, any type of other issues, you can get so much information. Now that we have that done, we're gonna move on and transplant these two hydrangeas. So let me show you what that's looking like. Here we have two lantanas on standard. So last season, Sherwood's Forest had these on special when I went out there. So you know me, I grabbed a pair of two. Now, lantana is actually a perennial in some zones, but in my zone, it's an annual. Now, I could have taken these inside and overwintered them, but by the time I actually thought about it, they were already gone. So I'm going to just pull these out and these are where the new hydrangeas are going to go in. So let me go ahead and pop these two out real quick. So I'm wondering if these are just kind of, you know, just come up without me having to dig so much. Alright, I got this one out. Now let's do the other one. Alright, so this one came out pretty easy as well.
dehydrating, just transplanting in the cans where I need them to be. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and water these babies in. Once I water them in, I'm going to look at the distance level between the top of the root ball and the bottom of the plant, and then I'm going to give it a nice, beautiful layer of compost. Now, I'm not going to go in and fertilize these strawberry shake hydrangeas for this season because they're going to get transplant fertilizer, or excuse me, they're going to get starter fertilizer. So the theory behind that, a lot of times when I transplant plants, depending on how the plant is doing or in its first year, I will go in and forfeit blooms because let me tell you, I have enough going on in my garden as far as bloom wise that I can sacrifice two shrubs in order for them to get acclimated to their container because they'll be there at least for this season. Let's go ahead and get these girls watered in. <laughs> So we got both of the hydrangeas transplanted now. This one over here was not in as much sun. So you can still see it does have some growth on it here. But it wasn't in as much sun as this one over here. All right, so I got my hydrangeas transplanted. I got my peonies, or peonies, depending on how you say it. I have those in the ground as well. The sun is out, it's shining quite a bit, so I'm actually limited to how much of the details you guys can actually see. If you got any questions on why I uh, cited the peonies in the place that I cited them in, or about the transplanted hydrangeas. Now, the hydrangeas that I transplanted are strawberry shake hydrangeas. So I planted a pair of those two in containers, and the area that I removed them from is actually going to be redone. So I went ahead, lifted those hydrangeas. So I'm going to go ahead and call the video quits for now. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you guys for watching.